Howdy folks, BC here. You're watching Deucey Guns, and today I'm gonna to find out exactly how powerful these black powder revolvers can be. Now today I'm testing the eight inch Colt copy, and I will also, in a later video, test the 12 inch Buffalo Remington copy. Now the plan is to shoot an entire cylinder of 25 grains, and then increase that load by five grains each until I just cannot fit that amount of powder into the cylinder anymore. And also to make it more scientifically sound, I'm gonna use a new box of Remington number 10 caps. I have actual factory made round balls for this. They are 140 grain and I bought new powder. This of course is Pyrodex. This is what I can get locally very easily. So that's what I'm going with. And I've emptied out, boy this thing's hot. It's 96 degrees outside by the way. So if I faint, I guess I won't upload this, but <laughs> there we go. Got a little powder left and that is empty. So I'm gonna fill this up with brand new powder and use this for the entirety of the experiment. Alrighty, first off is load up a 25 grain charge and all six cylinders here. You've seen me load one of these before. I'll put this in the related video section. The lead ball is down there in the bottom. Nice. Uh, tradition, I'm gonna go ahead and put some Crisco in there. There we go, Crisco. Help lube the bullet. Again, some people do, some people don't. Eh, it's up to you. While you're capping, you should also always keep your muzzle pointed in a safe direction, just in case. And do not put your fingers in front of the chamber because it's a live round at that point. Alrighty, got my eyes on, put my ears on, we're ready to shoot. <laughs> you guys are getting quite a bit of smoke there. Last one. Now I'll put 30 grains in it this time, see if I can focus it in there. You can see the actual lead balls are much closer to the edge of the cylinder because you got 30 grains of powder versus 25. So I'm gonna go ahead and lube everything up, cap it off, and then we're gonna go shooting. Okay, 30 grains of black powder substitute. Eight inch barrel. That feels a heck of a lot stronger. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, we're getting a lot more speed out of it. Yeah, one more shot. And we're hitting right at 900 feet per second. That's impressive. That is really impressive. Way to go, little guy. I have now loaded 35 grains of black powder substitute into the eight inch Colt Pieta revolver. And you can see right there, if I can get it to focus, how close, there we go. See how close the actual lead balls are to the edge of the cylinder now. So it's creeping up there, it's creeping up there. All right, I'm gonna lube and cap this off and then we'll get to shooting. 35 grains of black powder substitute, eight inch barrel. Ho ho! I definitely feel something. And right there, let me show you something real quick. I'm still pointing down the range, there we go. You see that cap right there? That cap got crushed in between the cylinder and the actual frame of the pistol or revolver. And it actually makes it really hard, almost jammed up on me there, which would be a very common occurrence in the old west. So whenever you see people just shoot hundreds of rounds with no Problems whatsoever, that's probably fake. Oh, 
Oh. Got a bad primer. All right, let's hit it again. There we go. Last one. Forty grains of black powder substitute in my eight inch cold pieta. As you can see, the lead balls are right at the edge of the chamber. So I'm not sure if I can get any more powder in these chambers. Ho ho! It's really not much faster. One more, one more. Now I just attempted to load 45 grains of black powder substitute into the eight inch Colt. And you can see, hopefully you can see, let me uh, get it to focus on that, there we go. You can see the powder right there, it's right at the very edge. There's no way I can fit a bullet on top of that. Alrighty, well, Curiosity got the best of me, and I actually went ahead and put a lead ball on top of it, and it is right at, let me see if I can get this to focus here, it is right at the edge. There's no cap in it or anything, so it's safe to do this. It's right at the edge of the cylinder. I'm not even sure if it, does it actually go through? Yes, it barely makes it over. I'm gonna shoot one because I feel like that's not gonna add any kind of velocity. I think I'm just wasting black powder at this point. So I'm gonna check that out first, of course on camera, and we will see if it actually is a significant increase in speed, which I don't think is gonna happen, then we'll see. Well, I'll see what I can do about that. My theory is it's not gonna increase speed that much, if any. We'll find out, let's see. It really didn't do that much more than it was before. I was already hitting a thousand feet per second. I think I'm just making smoke at this point. Already, I have tested four loads here, 25, 30, 35, and 40, and I have four cans lined up. So I'm gonna shoot each one sequentially with each power load. 25 grain, 30 grain, <laughs> 35 grain. Whew. Let's smoke clear. And the grand finale, 40. Boom. Nice. <laughs> well, guys, it for every day. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and go and subscribe because a lot more is on the way. And if you have any comments, questions, or show ideas, leave those in the comment box below the video. And as always, you guys have a great day. See ya. Woo. <laughs>